Today I'm going to be showing you how to complete your assignment that's called Shape in Art. The first thing you need to do is open Google, and you're going to do that by opening a new tab. I know that you can search Google Images through Google Slides, but opening a new tab will give you a lot more images to choose from. So to open a new tab, you're going to go all the way up to the top of your Google Chrome, and there's a little plus sign, and you're going to click that. It should open up Google since it is Google Chrome, and you're going to look up artwork that uses shape. And then you can go right to Google Images, which can be found right at the top. So for this assignment, you're looking for an artwork that uses organic shapes, geometric shapes, um, or both of them all in the same painting. So you're going to just scroll down and you need to make sure that you're choosing an actual piece of artwork that is made by, you know, a professional artist. This, if I click on it, um, looks like it's going to take me to an art teacher's website. And this looks like something that we could do as middle schoolers. So this is um, not an actual piece of professionally made art. This is, an, this is a lesson. So you're going to scroll down, you're looking for either just geometric, just organic, or a little bit of both. And I'm going to show you how to drag the image to the tab. Okay, say I like this one. And I want to um, take this picture and put it inside my slide, which is part of your assignment. What I recommend is that you click on it so that this... Um, extra little black part of the page comes up. I'm going to click directly on the image and then I'm not going to let go of my mouse pad. I'm going to start moving my finger up towards my tabs and I'm going to hover it over the tab <clears throat> with your notebook. And then I can bring it down here and drop it down. And you can see that Google Slides created that image for me. And I'm just going to make it a little smaller before I turn in my notebook so that Miss Julian can read my sentences. Okay, but for right now, for the sake of the video, I'm going to make this bigger so you can see the picture. Okay, so I found an artwork that uses shape, and then I inserted it on the right Google Slide. Okay. Now, all I need to do next is describe how shape was used in the image. You're basically telling me what shapes you see and if they're organic or geometric. So to start, you're going to double click down here so you can see the blue box. And when I look at this artwork, the first thing I see is a lot of organic shapes, like this shape right here above the eyeball. That looks like kind of an organic shape, you know, but these circles right here that make up the nose, those are geometric. Um, I see some triangles, which I could say are geometric. And I also see tiny little red squares in here that are geometric. But some of the shapes, like the hair, that looks organic to me because I don't know the name of that shape. Okay, so the first thing that I would do is evaluate it and see what shapes you see. Now I can start by saying if there's geometric shapes, organic shapes, or both. I'm going to type this artwork uses both organic and geometric shapes. Some geometric shapes I see are circles and squares. The squares are in the shirt. The circles make the nose. Okay, um, and I in the beginning I said organic and geometric. So I just named the geometric shapes I see, circles and squares. And then I said where you could find them in the painting. The rest of the face. The rest of the face looks like it's made with organic shapes that do not 
have a name. So we talked about how some organic shapes do have names, right? Um, you know, a tree or the human hand, or if you're talking about animals, those are all organic and they do have names. Um, but some organic shapes and most of them do not. So I would just state that in my sentence. So to read the final um, statement I wrote, this artwork uses both organic and geometric shapes. So that's sentence one. What shapes do you see? Some geometric shapes I see are circles and squares. The squares are in the shirt. The circles make the nose. Okay, so I talked about what geometric shapes I see with their names and where they are. And then the last thing you would have to do if you have both shapes, um, the rest of the face looks like it's made with organic shapes that do not have a name. That's all I would have to type. I'm done. I described how shape was used in the image. And then I can make this smaller again. And that is the last assignment in this notebook. Um, and you're going to hit the turn in button as soon as you're done with this and the other three slides that we've completed throughout the last week.